Welcome everyone to my channel. In today, we have a nice exponential math problem. And the question reads, 5 to the power of x plus 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 5 to the power of x equal to 2. What there will be the possible value of x? Now, before we go into this challenge, if you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button. The reason why you have to subscribe is because we drop new video, new mathematical challenges, solution to mathematical problems. Okay, with that being said, let's go into today's challenge. We put down our question. First, let's take a solution. Solution. We put down the question, which is 5 to the power of x plus 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 5 to the power of x or equal to 2. You discover that what we have here, they are all the same. So the best thing to do here is to factor out 5 to the power of x. So let's go ahead and factor out 5 to the power of x. So this will give us 5 to the power of x, bracket open. We use 5 to the power of s to divide this 5 to the power of s. And that will give us 1. So we put down 1 here. Plus, we do same here. This will give us 1. We do same here. We give us 1. Plus another 1. Plus the last 1. So everything in bracket equal to 2. We can go ahead to add these terms together now. So we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. That will give us 5. So we end up having... 5 to the power of x dot, which is times 5. Everything equal to 2. Good. Yeah, we're looking for s. So one of the ways to get our s easily is to eliminate this 5 here. So we divide through by 5. So let's divide the left-hand side by 5. And according to the law of equation, whatever we do to the left-hand side, we must do to the right-hand side. So we also divide this side by Five. This and this will leave the system. And so on the left hand side, we're left with what? Just 5 to the power of x equal to your 2 all over 5. Yeah, we're looking for x. And x is now appearing or it has appeared to be an exponent. So how do we handle this x as an exponent? Two methods we can apply here. We can either Take the ln of both sides of the equation. Or we take log to base 10 of the equation. Okay. So now let's take log to base 10 of both sides of the equation. And so this will now give us here. Here we have log 5 in bracket or to the power of x base 10 equal to log 2 all over 5 in bracket also base 10. Very easy. Now, what do we do? There are some laws of logarithm we are going to apply here. Two major laws we're going to apply. The first one is called the power law of logarithm. What does it say? It says that if you have log your m to the power of k, is, let's say a here, the law says move this power backward. So this will now give us here k dot log your m, okay, base a. Okay, let's put this in bracket. So if we succumb to this law, so we can rewrite this left-hand side of the equation. On the right-hand side of the equation, look at what we have here. We have what we call the division law of logarithm. What does it say? It says that if you have log your m all over n base a, okay, let's put this in bracket, say this is same thing as log your m, okay, let's put this in bracket, base a minus log n base a. Okay, so this is what we call the division law of logarithm. These are the two laws we are going to apply to this equation. And so we move this exponent here backward. So if we move this backward, we're going to end up having this, or this now implies your x dot your log of 5, okay, base 10, equal to the log your 2, base 10, minus log 5, 
base 10. Okay. What are we looking for? Mind you, we're looking for S. So for us to make S the subject of the formula, let's divide through by what? Log 5 base 10. And so this will be all over log 5 base 10. Okay. We equally divide this by log 5 base 10. The this other side by log 5 base 10. Good. Now let's check out this. See what we have here. This, we go with this. Here we have one. Here we have one. This, we go with this. Here we have one. Here we have one. So we end up having our x on the left hand side. x equal to log 2 base 10 all over log 5 base 10 minus 1. Now, so this is the final answer to our S. So, therefore, we have our S to be log 2 base 10 all over log 5 base 10 minus 1. Now, we can so go ahead to use calculator to simplify this down to see if this will give us um, the actual answer. This will automatically give us X equal to your log 2 will give us 0 0.3010 all over log 5 we give us 0 0.6990 minus 1. So if you go ahead to divide this, we give us here um, 0 0.3010 divided by 0 0.6990 we give us 0 0.4306 then minus 1. If we go ahead to subtract this, then we're going to have our x to be minus 0 0.5694. This is the value of our x. I've gone ahead to impute this value into our initial equation. And when I simplify down, it gave me the right answer. Okay. So from this, this is our final answer. Okay. x is equal to minus 0 0.5694 and if you go ahead to impute this value into our initial equation where is the equation look at the equation here if we put the value of x into this place put into here and you simplify that then it's going to give you approximately 2.00034 and some other figures okay so that shows that the value of x we should solve for is very Correct. This is all I must TV and my name remains Jigs Animal. If you learned something good from this video, give the video a thumbs up or you have a better way of solving this, then also drop it in the comment section below. Remember, Jigs loves you and every one of us at All I must TV love you. Thanks for always be there. Bye for now.